being high quality green space already, but privately owned or something that could be better like this property that we're on today. These like kind of darker green lines, these are the wild weeds. Even when they live. It's actually a great time because I think it's going to be their pain. The riprap is one. So you can compare and contrast that um, sumac that Jeff is looking at with the Hylanthus. I'm not sure it's actually coming through right now. But yeah. Mussels, oysters, uh, quill hogs. Look under rocks, see what hermit crabs see. Down snail. On, uh, no males. The eighth, it's adult. She's right there. She probably emerged from her colored ladybug. Boy, is that beautiful. But I think this is headed in the right direction as far as um, helping salt marshes deal with unforeseen impacts from climate change. I think urban salt marshes have so many other stressors to worry about too. We have um, nutrients that uh, may be at play in the Chelsea Creek. Some salt marshes get burnt out by nutrients. It was a little late too. Unless, unless it's not. Uh, it's bolting on out. Yeah. Oh, they found a horseshoe. Crab. See the other side? That's a really thick one. Yeah. You monster. Back. That's what it is. used to say desert uh, thing. What is this, Jeff? Very pretty. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Good native plant. They definitely compete for some resources. Too competitive in a. Sure. <laughs> Three, two, 